morning prayer. Today is Monday, the ninth week of Ordinary Time, and our morning prayer today begins on page 330. I'm so glad you're with me for prayer today, and let's join together. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. Yahweh, our light and our salvation, O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Faithful Lord, living Savior, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, may we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our hymn for this morning's prayer is hymn number 8 on page 727 of our prayer books. Forth in thy name, O Lord, I go, my daily labor to pursue, thee only, thee resolve to know in all I think or speak or do. The task thy wisdom hath assigned, O let me cheerfully fulfill. In all my works thy presence find, and prove thy good and perfect will. Thee may I set at my right hand, whose eyes mine inmost substance see, and labor on at thy command, and offer all my works to thee. Give me to bear thy easy yoke, and every moment watch and pray, and still to things eternal look, and hasten to thy glorious day. For thee delightfully employ what e'er thy bounteous grace hath given, and run my course with even joy, and closely walk with thee to heaven. Our psalm for today is Psalm 71. O Lord, I have come for, to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me and rescue me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me and set me free. Be my rock of safety, where I can always hide. Give the order to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. My God, rescue me from the power of the wicked, from the clutches of cruel oppressors. O Lord, you alone are my hope. I've trusted you, O Lord, from childhood. Yes, you have been with me from birth, from my mother's womb. You have cared for me. No wonder I am always praising you. My life is an example to many, because you have been my strength and my protection. That is why I can never stop praising you. I declare your glory all day long. And now, in my old age, don't set me aside. Don't abandon me when my strength is failing. For my enemies are whispering against me. They are plotting together to kill me. They say God has abandoned me. Let's go and get him, for no one will help him now. Oh God, don't stay away. My God, please hurry to help me. Bring disgrace and destruction on my accusers. Humiliate and shame those who want to harm me. But I will keep on hoping for your help. I will praise you more and more. I will tell everyone about your righteousness. All day long I will proclaim your saving power. Though I am not skilled with words, I will praise your mighty deeds, O Sovereign Lord. And I will tell everyone that you alone are just. O oh God, you have taught me from my earliest childhood. I constantly tell others about the wonderful things you do. Now that I am old and gray, do not abandon me, O oh God. Let me proclaim your power to this new generation. 
your mighty miracles to all who come after me. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the highest heavens. You have done such wonderful things. Who can compare with you, O God? You have allowed me to suffer much hardship, but you will restore me to life again and lift me up from the depths of the earth. You will restore me to even greater honor and comfort me once again. Then I will praise you with music on the harp, because you are faithful to your promises, O my God. I will sing praises to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. I will shout for joy and sing your praises, for you have ransomed me. I will tell about your righteous deeds all day long, for everyone who tried to hurt me has been shamed and humiliated. Praise be to God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. Our reading from the scripture today is from the book of 2 Thessalonians. <clears throat> Those unwilling to work will not get to eat. Yet we hear that some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and meddling in other people's business. We command such people and urge them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and work to earn their own living. As for the rest of you, dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. Blessed be God who lives forever, whose reign endures throughout all ages. Declare God's praise before the nations, you who are the children of Israel. For if our God has scattered you among them, there too has he shown you his greatness. Exalt him in the sight of the living, because he is our God and our Father forever. Though God punishes you for all your wickedness, mercy will be shown to you all. God will gather you from every nation from wherever you have been scattered. When you turn to the Lord with all your heart and soul, God will hide his face from you no more. See what the Lord has done for you and give thanks with a loud voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. In our hunger and thirst, we long for you, living Christ. In our darkness and tears, we long for you, living Christ. In our alienation and uncertainty, we long for you, living Christ. In your call and your deliverance, we long for you, living Christ, in your truth and justice and love. We long for you, living Christ. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of our desire, you reveal yourself to us in majesty and glory. May we long for your presence. And if this day our spirits are downcast and our hearts are laid low, bring your truth and light to meet us that we may be renewed, and so take up our part in the renewal of those we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. 
May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, for joining this day in prayer. What a blessing to start this day off in prayer to our Lord and our Savior. Repent of our sins, accept God's forgiveness, and move forward. That's how we live as Christians. And may the Lord bless you in all that you do. And may you give our lives to Christ. Amen.